both these, ju these drivers. Uh, Alex Zanardi not giving an inch. It's awfully difficult to make a pass. I think, you know, Paul Tracy really mistimed it, didn't he? He, uh, he, he, he was too fast through turn four, and he, he was too close to Zanardi's gearbox. I think he probably had to lift out of the throttle just a little bit. So he'll just regroup himself now, try and do that again, and just make the run a little bit later so that he can get the momentum on Alex Zanardi down the front to his front uh, straight, but we've got, what, six laps to go now. If, if, uh, if Patrick Carponche has a fuel, he has a race in his pocket, and uh, but Paul Tracy, uh, he's not about to give it up just yet, is he? No, he isn't. He's still chasing after Alex Zanardi. Now, he's got within range, and if he can do what he did last time and be really quick into turn three, but not so quick this time that he overruns Zanardi in the middle of the corner, then he's going to have a great shot. Watch him into this section. This is where Tracy's got the advantage. Now, if he times this right this time, he could get the slipstream. This is good. This time he's timed it perfectly, and this time Zanardi can do nothing about it. Tracy goes through on the inside. Now, that was how you time a move he got it just right that time and Tracy is into second place tracing he's chasing after Patrick Carpentier three and a half laps to go here <laughs> can Tracy catch up to Carpentier you can bet he's trying he's a racer to the end and he's closing up to another Canadian the two Canadians doing battle for the win in this race and they're catching up to slower traffic as well just to make the equation even more complicated into turns one and two through they go Tracy gaining ground through turns one and two they there's no doubt about it. Tracy's on a charge here. He's got to have the speed. We know how quick he is on this section of the track. Just watch him go into the corner. Watch him close up as they go through the mid part. He's got to be careful not to overrun it. But now he's going to have the opportunity. He's going to go for the inside, surely, into turn one, down on the dirty stuff. Carpentier, Ooh. they squeeze together. And Tracy goes into the lead. He gets past Carpentier. There's just one and a half laps to go here. Tracy takes the lead of this race in the last couple of miles. Fantastic. He did it in Rio through uh, misfortune to Bobby Rahal, but he's done it here at Gateway through sheer brilliance, through sheer driving skill. The white flag waves. It's the last lap here. Patrick Carpentier is in second. Zanardi is in third place. De Ferran in fourth. Jimmy Vassar is fifth. Guterman is sixth, but all eyes are on Paul Tracy. He's just got to get through the final turn now to take his hat-trick of wins. What a performance from Paul Tracy. A brilliant drive. Absolutely superb. He comes through, he takes the checkered flag, and the championship leader makes it three in a row for the Penske team. Fantastic. And Roger Penske, I don't think he can quite believe what he's just seen. <laughs> that was magnificent. There's Alanta Jr., of course, with Roger Penske, all out of the race, but cheering on there for his teammate, Paul Tracy. Just look at the excitement within that car. That was one of the best closing stages to a race I've seen for a long time. Fantastic achievement still for Carponti. You have to feel for him, Jeremy. I mean, he was leading a brilliant. He drove so well today. The youngster in his first season, 25 years old, but only in his sixth ever IndyCar race, the Kart Series race.